The White House, North Korea has sent 1,000 containers of weapons to Russia for war in Ukraine. According to the White House, North Korea has provided Russia with significant quantities of weaponry to aid Moscow in its conflict with Ukraine. Over a thousand containers of equipment and munitions have been supplied by Pyongyang in recent weeks, according to National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby. Pictures that Washington said showed arm-loaded containers being transported by train to southern Russia from a ship flying the Russian flag were published. According to the White House, the containers were transported between Najin, North Korea, and Dunhe, Russia, between September 7 and October 1. Speculation since North Korean leader Kim Jong-un traveled to Russia to meet with President Vladimir Putin and see important military facilities, rumors have abounded that Pyongyang would begin shipping weapons to Russia. According to Mr. Kirby, in exchange, North Korea wants sophisticated Russian military technologies for its nuclear weapons development program. The Center for Strategic and International Studies last week released satellite images demonstrating a substantial rise in train activity along the border between North Korea and Russia. The Tumingong Rail Facility, located on the nation's border with Russia, was shown to have a dramatic and unprecedented level of freight railcar traffic, in photos taken on October 5, according to the Washington Think Tank. The center reported that more than 70 railcars were found, as opposed to just 20 during the preceding five years. The U.S. has claimed that North Korea has in the past sent Russia ammunition, artillery rounds, and rockets. The North Korean leader sought an exponential rise in his nation's nuclear weapon manufacturing last month after meeting with Mr. Putin. He said that it was time for Pyongyang to take on a bigger role in a group of countries opposing the U.S. in a new Cold War, according to North Korean official media. According to the Korean Central News Agency, Mr. Kim made the remarks at a two-day session of the country's parliament, during which the constitution was amended to reflect his goal of developing the nation's nuclear weapons development. During his six-day visit to Russia, Mr. Kim strengthened comradely fellowship and friendly ties with Mr. Putin, according to North Korean official media. The two nations claimed to have spoken about strengthening their defense relations, but they did not specify any concrete actions.